How's it going guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out the location of what we're going to be calling, for pretty obvious reasons, simply the IS Vestige Parts and the core itself. All of them are going to be in the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood area. The first one we can find in the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood entrance, which is the first missile. We're going to continue forwards and then straight ahead on the big circular first platform. Once we get to the top of the stairs, we're going to go to the right and then take a left. Once we get to the end again, we can go into the tower on the right hand side. And in this tower, where many of you have probably noticed a pretty hefty invasion, which is pretty rough to do on low levels. Inside this room, we can also find part B, which is the first one for this vestige. For the second one, which is part C, we're going to go to the Artifice Tower Missile. And from here, we're going to continue forwards and go through the door on the right hand side, which you unlock once you get the shortcut back. From here, we're going to go straight ahead and then enter the doorway to the right once we have that open. And then go straight out the other door and notice there's going to be a section in the railing that's missing where we can drop off and go to the lower level. In here is where we can find part C. I can't die here like this. Is that really? Next we have part E of the vestige. We're going to be heading there from the cathedral perimeter. Now this one is quite hefty. The pathway to get there is pretty far away from this missile. So you may have to rewind the video a couple of times and really follow along the path. If you aren't too familiar yet with the cathedral layout. At this place it's very easy to get lost. A lot of the towers look very similar with different pathways. But as long as you follow along accordingly, you'll eventually get to this room just here, where you can drop down onto the lower platform, and on this platform is where we can find part E. <laughs> Next up is part A, which we're going to be heading out from the inner tower missile. This one's pretty straightforward and relatively close to the missile itself. Again, if we follow the pathway on screen, Once we get to this area here where we drop down for the second time, simply head to the opposite side and kill the enemy in front of these boxes, smash the boxes and behind it we'll be able to find part A. Now the only two things we're missing related to this vestige is part D and the core itself. Both of these are automatically obtained during cutscenes. Part D, which is first of all just before we fight the boss during this cutscene, will be handed over Part D. Then after we defeat the boss, two cutscenes later will be handed over the core. Now that we have all of the vestige parts as well as the core, let's quickly go and check out at the home base which gifts we can unlock by handing in these vestige parts. First of all, using part A we can get Vower of Ica, which reduces maximum HP to increase the amount of Ica that can be held. For part B and C we obtain Blast Bolt, which creates and fires a string of projectiles infused with electricity at your target. And then finally, for using part D and E combined, we unlock Indra's Coil fires three powerful bolts of lightning at your target's feet. So that is the location of all the parts and the core, as well as the abilities you can unlock by handing them in. So I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.